Yes, sir. Hey, that remind me of Alice when I do that right there. Uh. To Matthew 25, 1 through 13. Matthew 25, 1 through 13. And if you have it, say amen. Amen. The scripture reads as follows, Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgin, virgins, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. In this particular passage, we see that the kingdom is the coming of our Lord. That's the translation of the kingdom. Amen. Glory to God. And the bridegroom is Christ. And in the preparation of the of the ten virgins is them that adorn themselves and ready to meet our Lord. Say amen. Amen. And it says, and five of them were wise and five were foolish. In other words, five were stupid. Glory to God. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. Amen. They that were foolish took no took their lamps and took no oil with them. The, we see here that the scripture is talking about them being in preparation to meet the bridegroom. They did not have what was necessary to meet him. It says, but the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. Well, when the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. It seems like right now we're living in a time where the church is in a slumber, is in a sleep, and it, it don't realize that Christ is about to return, and we have to be about God's business and doing what he called us to do. Because if we don't do what he calls us to do, we're going to be just like these five wives and five, five wise and five foolish. And it says, and at midnight, there was a cry made. The cry here is symbolicness of the trumpet. The Bible says that uh, the, 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 uh, the Lord shall descend from heaven with a shout and the voice of the trumpet, and that dead in Christ shall rise first, and then that alive and remain shall be caught up together to meet him in the air. Glory to God. So we see here that there was a cry made. Behold, the bridegroom cometh, said the cry. The cry said, he's on his way. Hallelujah. Go ye out to meet him. See, we, 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 when the bridegroom come, we ain't going to have no time to get ready or get dressed up. We ain't going to have no time to fix our hair. And we ain't going to have no time to put away sin. And we ain't going to have no time to do anything. We ain't going to have to be ready to meet him. The Bible says that they told them to go out to meet them. So you're going to have to meet your Lord any way you are. That's how you're going to have to meet your Lord. If you're ready, then you ain't got nothing to worry about. But if you're not ready, you're going to be like the five foolish. Oh, come on now. Are you rapture ready? Are you rapture ready? It says that then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps and See, because we look at the ten virgins and we see that even the ten, even though there were ten virgins, five of them were sleeping and not prepared. And five of them were sleeping and yet was ready. Amen. Glory to God. So then they were able to rest their mind because they knew they had everything in preparation. Are you with me today? Amen. But the, the, the five foolish was the ones that went to sleep and and thought, okay, he's going to continue to tarry. And like many folks today, they thinking that Christ is going to continue to tarry. But the Bible declares he's coming for a church without a spot in any such thing. And if we ain't ready at the time of his coming, we're going to be like the five foolish. Amen. Hallelujah. And the Bible declares... And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil. The oil is here is symbolicness of the anointing or the presence of the, or the indwelling or the infilling of the Holy Spirit. For our lamps are gone out. 
In other words, we were living saved and we were living sanctified, but from the down the but, but because of when we looked at the situation and and, and we seen that Christ had came, we we began to slip and we began to do things that was not in his commands and we began to turn our backs on his commandments and do our own thing and do what seemed good in our sight and he began to ask the wise to give them some oil because their lamps, their anointing, the presence of God, the glory of God that was supposed to rest on them it was no longer there hallelujah because see, one thing about it is when Christ did part those clouds, he only going to be looking for them with his spirit indwelling in them. Amen. Glory to God. He's not going to be accepting those that just repent and those that just say, Lord, come into my heart. That's not good enough. He don't have to have a spirit because it is written that whosoever receiveth not the spirit of Christ is none of his. Glory to God. Are you rapture ready? Amen. Hallelujah. Are you rapture ready? Are you rapture ready? Amen. The Bible declares that but the wise answered saying not so lest there be not enough for us and you but go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourself. In other words, he said, the way we got it is the way you don't have to get it. Glory to God. You can't, you can't try to get what we got. Because even the scripture tells us that the saints shall scarcely enter the kingdom of heaven. We only going to have enough oil for ourselves. We're not going to have enough oil for Joe and Susie and Bobby. We're not going to have enough oil for, for, for our children. We're not going to have enough oil for our grandchildren. We're not going to have enough oil for the priests up the street. We're not going to have enough oil for anybody but ourselves. It says, but the wise answer saying, not so, lest there be not enough for us and you. But go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves. And the Bible declares that while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and they that were ready went in with him to, to the marriage, and the door was shut. Glory to God. See, one day in the near futures, somebody is going to be slipping just like these foolishes. Just like these foolish ones that supposed to have been God's people, that supposed to have been worshiping him, that supposed to have been being dedicated to him. And they're going to be foolish and they're going to go to sleep. And while they sleep, the bridegroom, which is Christ, is going to come. And the Bible declares that he's going to descend from heaven with the shell. And because they do not have the Holy Spirit in them, they are not going to be raptured ready. <laughs> Oh, glory to God. Rapture ready. Rapture ready. Rapture ready. Then we look at the scripture and we see our note for today, this evening. This is the depiction of what will happen when a person is not ready for the coming of the Lord. You must be ready in that time and not just getting ready. That means you must be born again. Hallelujah. See, a lot of times we got this new theology that is to be born again. That means just to come up and repent of your sins and ask the Lord into your heart. That's not good enough. Glory to God. There's more than just that to be born again. We got some that leaves one part out and don't accept, accept the other. And we got some that accept both of them. And then we got some that don't accept none of it. But hear the words of our Master and our Savior, Lord Jesus Christ. And the Bible says in John 3, 1 through 9, it says, There was a Jewish leader named Nicodemus who belonged to the party of the Pharisees. One night he went to Jesus and said unto him, Rabbi, in other words, the Rabbi is translated master, we know that you are a teacher sent by God. No one could perform the miracles you are doing unless God were with him. Jesus answered, I'm telling you the truth. 
no one can see the kingdom of God without being born again. Foolish. In other words, if I was stupid, glory to God. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. Amen. They that were foolish took no took their lamps and took no oil with them. The, we see here that the scripture is talking about them being in preparation to meet the bridegroom. They did not have what was necessary to meet him. It says, but the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. Well, when the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. It seems like right now we're living in a time where the church is in a slumber, is in a sleep, and it, it don't.